Hello everybody, I'm Stephen Hartley from Banbury, UK. Um, I'm making this um, video because I've just worked something out in my head and I wanted to share it with you, all uh, 20 of you, but you know, at least if it's better than none or one or five. <laughs> so um, anyway. I just watched um, an hour-long talk by a guy called Zachariah Sitchin, and he seems to be the person who talked about Nibiru first. And um, his background—he was born in Palestine before it became Israel. Um, he learnt ancient Hebrew as a long, young child and studied the Bible. Um, just give you a quick example, when in the Bible it refers to giants on the land, well if that had been interpreted properly it would have said those from above. So this guy has, you know, obviously researched it, um, he's read clay tablets from Sumerians and they are the most you know they were the most advanced and basically he's saying that Nibiru you know comes comes around every 3600 years goes around the Sun in between Mars and Jupiter um, yeah Mars and Jupiter and um, when it's nearby stuff happens um, and there's a an intelligent society living on the planets there and at this times when it's close they're sort of jumping over to earth and da 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 now it seems possible that the last time they were here 3600 years ago um, there was a big battle going on with their peoples and you know you can see evidence of this in the Bible in Ezekiel um, and what I just thought which seems to make sense in the world we're living in, in today is that after the battle after Nibiru was on its way out again um, some of their people were left behind on earth and they may well have been the bad guys. Well, I think, so this is going to be my, my standpoint, that the ones who were left behind were the bad guys. Now, maybe they were somehow locked away or something, but it could be that these bad guys then laid a plan for the next time that Nibiru comes around and is why they've taken on us humans as a slave race to advance technology to a stage where they can fight um, fight the I think they're calling them the Anunnaki as they come back round now let's just take um, nuclear weapons. They were well in time for that. I've just seen that um, Russia has 8,800, America has 7,500. And, you know, that's a lot of nuclear weapons to have <laughs> when, you know, it only take a couple to finish off a country. Um, well, you know, why would you need 8,000 nuclear weapons capable of being fired halfway across the world? So if they're capable of being fired halfway across the world, they're probably capable of being flown out into space. And once out in space, you know, they don't need much propulsion to, to uh, continue at vast speeds. And so my main point of this message is what we're going to get, we are going to get 
the system making us believe that the aliens, the Anunnaki coming on Nibiru are the bad guys. And they're gonna make us they're gonna make us fire fight the the Anunnaki. Now possibly there isn't enough of them. Maybe they've wanted to keep their race clean and not have too much human DNA in them. And perhaps their numbers are relatively small and wouldn't have a hope um, of defeating the incoming Anunnaki, the good guys. And the reason I'm saying they're the good guys and the ones left here are the bad guys is, you know, the way we are treated in this world. We're, we're being fooled and hypnotised and everything else. And we're not given the truth. And to me, that's that's the biggest thing is truth. You know, you build a whole foundation of your mindset on what you consider to be truths. It is important. <laughs> so, yeah, the bad guys are here, and they're going to make us think that the other guys are the bad guys with all their hypnotism and shit. But we just have to know inside ourselves that that's not the case and um, don't help them <laughs> right so I think from now on you know the code is do not help the evil ones in power do not aim the system do not fight in their wars So yeah, some of you may think I'm mad, but Nibiru for me is always, there was always something about it just made sense, it just seemed to slot in and make a lot of sense. And what with all the earth changes going on at the moment, everything that's being predicted, you know, it just happens to be happening, yeah? all at the same time and we're seeing signs now of nation turning against nation and kingdom turning against kingdom uh, Egypt and Ethiopia arguing over the Nile India and Pakistan they're always at it North and South Korea there'll be one around the corner quite likely so you know Things are happening. Plagues, weather, tornadoes, volcanoes, earthquakes. And that makes me believe that Nibiru is coming now. That's why I think it's happening now. Um, there's saw some evidence today to show that, you know, the Nibiru's passing is a sort of a seven year thing. I mean, this particular thing said it may have started in 2007. So maybe it did. Maybe this has been going on. Um, did see a bit of video footage, actually, of a, of a UFO over near Russia. And then a, whew, a missile. Completely missed. Not completely, like... Wasn't near miss. And, um... So, you know, we all know something's going on, and I'm uh, thought of this song that came out a long time ago, and I'm sure you'll remember. I'm going to sing it. Thirty-six years and my life is still trying to get up there. Great big hill of hope for a destination. 
I realized quickly and I knew I should that the hope I made up of this brotherhood of men or oh, whatever that means and so I cry sometimes when I'm lying in bed just to get it all out what's in my head and I I'm feeling a little peculiar and so I wake in the morning and I step outside and I take a deep breath and I get real high and I scream the top of my lungs, what's going on? And I say, hey, 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 I say, hey, what's going on? And I pray, I pray every single day for a revolution, yeah. Now, <laughs> I couldn't sing it the full volume I wanted to, but, um, and I didn't get all the lines right, but in that song, it was ahead of its time. And uh, just to sort of know that inside us, we all know that things ain't the way they say they are. So um, hold on to that feeling. Keep seeking the truth. Okay. Thank you.